The following trailer is rated S for spoilers. From the company that's addicted to releasing 7 out of 10 games, that actually only releases 7 out of every 10 games it makes, comes, surprise, surprise, another 7 out of 10 game. But hey, at least they actually finished making this one before selling it to us. <sighs> Never mind. Star Wars Outlaws. Journey a long time ago to a galaxy far, far away and come crawling back to your favorite franchise slash abusive relationship. But this time they swear they've changed, baby. By bringing you the most daring narrative philosophy in a Star Wars game since episode one racer. Enough with a f***ing Jedi already. From my point of view, the Jedi are evil. Preach it, kid. Hop aboard the Trailblazer with K Vess, the latest Star Wars lady to piss off an army of online Karen cells. Listen, if they don't want to be called that, they should probably stop demanding to see a manager anytime a woman wanders into their field of view. Kay's a petty criminal with a death mark, but that's only the second worst thing on her head. Nice wig, Janice. What's it made of? Your mom's chest hair. She's been burned for the usual reasons. Breaking into the wrong guy's vault and playing Grand Theft Auto Cantonica with his favorite car. The only difference is that in GTA, you have an arsenal of destruction at your disposal. But in this game, you've got a gun. Fortunately, Kay comes equipped with a bunch of super skills to help her out of any scrape, like being psychic, punching harder than Floyd Mayweather, being able to pilot a spaceship, even though she said she's never left her hometown, and having a dog who loves to steal. Yeah, you might think I'm telling Nix to do all this, but honestly, he'd do it on his own too. Dude's got a problem. Fred's a talking horse. He can do whatever he wants. I want to steal. <gasps> Ocean's Eleven your way through the galaxy as you assemble a crack team of criminals for one last job, gathering an unmatched group of space hotties, including this absolute chat of a droid, the world's worst bounty hunter who keeps saving the person she's supposed to kill, and your mom. Together, you'll use some of the most generic gameplay elements available to get the job done, like sneaking, over-the-shoulder shooting, sliding, and detonating some exploding barrels. Honestly, what's even the point of playing a branded Star Wars game when all the other games are exactly the- Wait, is that Lando? Five stars, game of the year, all hail Papa Disney. Weasel your way through the factions of the Star Wars criminal underworld, taking on jobs and avoiding angering the big bosses. Also, you can find new places to place a balk instead of the mission you're supposed to be doing. Yeah, 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 I'll get to the urgent threat against my life later. I'm about to take this future Futurama head in a jar for all he's worth. Once you pull yourself away from the table, take on jobs doing crimes all over the galaxy, like taking things out of boxes, putting things into boxes, and the worst crime of all, forced stealth, so sorry, forced stealth sections. And when you inevitably mess up your sneak because you got bored watching Kay's super slow crouch walk, get ready for the most miserable gun combat since Rogue Squadron 3 with enemies that seem basically immune to lasers, but fold like paper mache if K so much as flips them off, and with a gun that overheats faster than me being forced to do this over and over again because there's no quick save. Who doesn't include a quick save in a stealth game? Papa Disney, you and I need to hash this out right now because- Oh, is that Lando? I love him. So open that vent, share a hearty meal with your dog, and get ready for a perfectly fine game made by people with a passion for Star Wars that has likable characters, solid writing, and beautiful environments to explore, but is brought down by all the Ubi stuff copy-pasted from Ubisoft's big book of boring bullshit. Starring Data Spike Spiegel, Dog Day Afternoon, C-3PO if he fucked, I'm the Watcher on the Wall, Astro the Bounty Hunter, Star Wars Obligatory Tiny Specialist, Star Wars Obligatory Mommy Issues. Star Wars? More like Star Bars. Waka waka. Kira, Princess of Power. Jar Jar. See ya, Space Frat Boy. And developing a real life gambling problem. Honkai Star Wars. As much as I wish we could bang the hot droid, it makes sense that Star Wars would want to avoid anything too, too sexy in this game. We all remember what happened last time.
one of the biggest DJs and producers in the world, Zed, joins GameSpot's Lucy James for a deep dive into his gaming history. Then we put him on the spot with a blind run of DJ Hero. Click the box on the right to watch now. I am the bone of my sword. Steel is my body, and fire is my blood. I am Sun Wukong, the Monkey King. Return to Monk for the Emperor. I am an accountant, doing accountant things, living the accountant life. Improvise, adapt, overcome. Whatever's there, we'll deal with it.